The impact felt tonight is going to be real. Real research is going to be invested in as a result of tonight's gala. Real clinical trials are going to be pursued. Potential brain tumor programs are going to be explored. None of this, however, would be possible without all of you. You know, that's a challenge we have in front of us. And if everybody joins in the cause, make it bigger, better every single year. Just thank you for supporting us through our, all these times. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. You are a room of very, very special people on a mission to make a difference tonight. You are truly the heart of the Midwest. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If not you, then who? If not now, then when? So get up, man up, and give big tonight. The amount of progress in rare cancer research and, and development of technologies for new treatments for rare cancers is not from the government, it is not from big corporations, it is from grassroots developments like Team Jack. And the third way you can deal with adversity is to look at it as an opportunity, an opportunity to learn something, an opportunity to get better. Essentially, I think that's what's going on here. Uh, Jack had a problem, and his parents decided they're going to try to do something about it. That is the true meaning of the good life. We make a difference in this, not only in this room, but in this state. It's a phenomenal culture, and I couldn't be more proud of it or, or to be a part of it. There's a kind of very forward-thinking foundation that thinks not just about developing the therapies, but making sure they're available to the population in this region. And I was talking to Jack earlier tonight, and I said, you know, Jack, you need to live your life, but you are inspiring so many people. You will not believe that when you become 25, 30, and everybody's at your wedding, they'll be talking about that day that you ran that touchdown back at that Nebraska spring football game, because that is what changed life for so many other people.